woke up and wasn't no one there. Wasn't no one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You too. What's good? What's good? It's your man, Cloudy Poker Chips, back at you with another look at a fresh pair of kicks. Today, I bring you guys a look at a Reebok Classic. Definitely one of my favorite Reeboks of all time. Uh, maybe my favorite Reebok ever. Um, I actually never had this shoe as a kid, but I knew a couple of kids that did, and I was so envious. I always wanted them. I just never copped. Uh, I'm glad to finally have them. So let's jump into the shoe. You guys know what it is. This is. Wrap these up, boy. Tell you. Um, the Reebok Shack Attack. Um, everybody knows this shoe. Everyone knows what this shoe is. Without a doubt, instantly. Um, definitely the best Shaq shoe of all time, in my opinion. Um, you got this really, really cool um, colorway. This Orlando blue. Uh, the actual colorway of that is white, black, azure, steel. So um, this, this, this material here, this like shiny, uh, almost like satin look, um, is definitely a real cool um part of this shoe it's, it's some kind of synthetic material i'm not really sure what it is um just a classic silhouette the bottom of the shoe is awesome you got this uh, molded um whatever this is polyurethane i don't know and you got that little shank plate in the middle um this shoe looks like it would be heavy but it's actually pretty light i was real surprised when i got it in my hand um you got the reebok pump bam bam and everyone uh, growing up in the 90s remembers the pumps. I had a few pair of the pumps. Uh, never had these, like I said. Um, I, I can remember this kid. I don't remember his name, but he was huge. Um, he was like six foot two in like eighth grade. And he was just a monster. I mean, he had like, uh, like you know, biceps. Um, you know, and nobody else had biceps. This kid had like a full six pack. He was a monster. And he used to rock these. And I remember playing basketball against him. And I always used to check his shoes out. Like, damn, those are hot, man. Um, can't remember that kid's name. But uh, he, he moved away. And uh, I just remember that kid because he was so damn big. And he had these uh, shack attacks. But uh, we all grow up eventually. And I could definitely kick that kid's ass right now. <laughs> uh, just messing with you there. Um, great shoe. Uh, so happy to have this shoe in my possession. Uh, this actually, this shoe is actually very limited. Um, very few retailers got them, and the ones who did, I think, got a couple size runs, and they sold out extremely quick. Um, so if you got them for retail, uh, you definitely lucked out. Um, I got my pair for retail. A big shout out to Reebok.com. Um, definitely got to be on your game to get them from there because their website sells out instantly whenever a classic Reebok comes out. Um, like the Kamikazes and the uh, answers, questions, whatever that came out recently. Um, if you're not on the website immediately, boom, they're gone. Um, but they, uh, they do charge tax, which I'm not sure why. I don't think there's any Reebok stores in my state. But that was free shipping, and uh, so it was 160 plus plus tax. Uh, inside the shoe, um, you have a um, little uh, little shack symbol, and you have the all men count on you, uh, but none too much. You guys can see in there, and you got the size tag. Um, you have the black basketball. Got some super knobbies on that thing. Um, pump that thing up, bam, 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 and then let the air out, of course. So, uh, real classic shoe. Um, everybody, again, knows the Reebok pump. And everyone knows this shoe. Um, the back of the shoe, you got Shaq with his uh, Don't Fight the Funk on a Nasty Dunk. Uh, big dog 
symbol. Uh, Shaq has a shoe line of his own. I know it's real cheap shoes um, that kids can afford. Like, you know, kids that can't go out and buy like $200 sneakers. Um, he has a, I think his line is at Payless, maybe. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but he teamed back up with Reebok, I'm sure, for a uh, hefty check uh, was cut to him to uh, go ahead and do this shoe again. I'm not really sure how that works as far as like the rights to the shoe and all that. Um, but I do know that they could not do this shoe without his permission um, because of the uh, logo and all that good stuff. Hopefully Shaq's agent was smart and uh, you know caught the rights to that logo. So if you want to do it, you gotta pay. You gotta pay Shaq a, a big hefty sum, which I'm sure they did. Uh, but the shoe does come with one set of laces. You get these white laces, uh, just a classic uh, flat lace, and you get this little uh, leather keychain, which uh, says Shaq. Got a little something on the side there. Um, quality on these are pretty damn good. I'm gonna say a, a nine out of ten in quality. There were a few. Um, Miss uh, misplacements of some things like um, you see some um, glue around the edges and some of the paintwork is not the best um, but again compared to all the Nikes that we get lately in Jordan brand shoes um, a 9 out of 10 is way more than expected um, Shack Attack 2013 Retro um, this is the Orlando colorway. I don't, I don't know if there's any other colorways. They're named. But I think there's a black one of these. And I'm sure Reebok will pull out some crazy colorway um, that won't sell. Um, some like crazy orange or bright green colorway. Um, like they kind of did with the Kamikaze 2. Which are just plain nasty um, in my opinion. Um, it, it's, it's real easy to ruin a plastic shoe. And Reebok does a good job, in my opinion, of ruining classic shoes. Don't get me wrong, uh, they do a good job with their, you know, their classic silhouettes and their classic colorways. But they always bring you some crazy colorway that's just nasty. Um, but these are definitely uh, on my hot list right now. Definitely one of my favorite pickups of the year so far. So, YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a like. Give me a thumbs down, uh, whatever. Um, leave a comment below. Check out my other videos. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely please hit me up. Uh, if you need help, if you're new to the sneaker game and have any questions, uh, I'm here to help. Just like a lot of these YouTubers out there. There are some, not naming any names. Um, he's a certain, uh, an, he's an addict of sneakers. He's kind of a dick, and um, he doesn't seem to like people asking questions or leaving their opinions. And he does like to block people if you simply state your opinion. That's a whole nother video. Uh, but uh, anyway, big shout out to all the Reebok heads out there. Um, I'm starting to sway a little bit, you know, out of my comfort zone of uh, Nike and Jordan brand with some Adidas and some Reebok um, and even some New Balance I got my eye on right now. So uh, big shout out to you guys that do it big and do it different. Uh, please check out my other videos, uh, subscribe to my channel, and that's it YouTube. Thanks for watching. Be safe and have a great day.